it's funny because I'm, I still suck at it. Like, and it's, I'm actually kind of glad that I can recognize the fact that I'm bad at it because it means that there's room for growth. Like I'm a very, I'm a very proud person and it's, it's one of my worst character traits. Like I'm somebody that does not like to ask for help ever, but I'm also somebody that you, you know, the TikTok where it's like, be fucking for real. Like I need, I need to, <laughs> I need to tell myself that like Deshaun to be, be for real. Like, what do you need right now? And I forgot what, there was like some interview with somebody that went viral in a newspaper, but it was like some celebrity that was like, I don't want to be unhappy for even one second of my life. Yeah. So I try to adopt that to my own life right now. Like if I'm in a really bad funk, okay, Deshonda, what is, what is that one micro thing that's going to make you even a little bit happier? So maybe sometimes that's getting on the phone with my dad. Maybe that's sometimes watching a horrible lifetime movie. Maybe that's sometimes going out to eat by myself. Maybe that's going to, you know, watch family guy with my boyfriend. Maybe it's just sitting alone and just doing nothing and talking to God. Like I try to figure out what that means for me because a lot of people think that when it comes to love languages, that means that you communicate that with other people or or people communicate that back to you. Love languages can also be internalized. So what love languages can I adopt to myself when it comes to physical touch? Do I need to get myself a massage when it comes to act acts of service? Do I need to deep clean my house so that my, my safe, my safe space is actually a safe space when it comes to um, words of affirmation? Do I need to journal? Do I need to write stuff down? Do I need to put sticky notes on my wall? So I try to figure out what exactly I need in that moment because what I may need on a Tuesday at 3 p.m. may be really different from what I need on like a Saturday at 11 a.m. I've never thought of that. <laughs> like, but you know what? I've always been one of those people where it's not that I don't believe in love languages. I just don't believe that there's only four. And, right. And I don't believe that I can just have one Mm -hmm. that works for me like when it comes to my relationships I, I want you to show up in all those ways I don't mm -hmm. just want the gift giving and the acts of service or whatever so I I think when it comes to myself I, I've never taken account to see what how do I need to communicate with me how do I need to take care of Jasmine so you just gave me some homework yeah for sure <laughs> like ad adopt those in in the ways that you would want other people to show up for you like I know that for example, I love giving gifts. That's my number one love language to other people because I know that sometimes I can't physically be there all the time because I travel so much or sometimes I can't pick up the phone because I'm working. But if I can show you that I'm thinking about you through a gift, I will do that. But some people don't like gifts. Some people like a hug. Some people like, you know, a nice text message in the morning. And I have to make sure that the way that I can show up for them is also by listening to what they need and not just what I think they need. Because oftentimes yes. we show up for people in the way that we think is best for them, but you have to ask them too. And you have to ask yourself what you need.